In this video I'm going to try to uh, uh, download SDR Sharp again and uh, reload it onto the machine to uh, try, and I emphasize the word try, to walk you through it. So from the link on the uh, ARFCOM page, we will go there and download the latest version, which I was using uh, version 354, now it's up to 357. <laughs> go figure. So we will click on that link, and we want to save. And it's downloading now. Okay, it's done. This is a uh, see view downloads. We'll go there, and there it is in the nightly. Yeah, I've got it twice here because this version here, the SDR stable .zip, did not support the uh, Realtek chipset. This is the uh, the nightly, the version 354. I downloaded the other night and got it working. So here's the current one. This is 357. So uh, what we will do is we will unzip this into another folder which I've already created, and I called it SDR Sharp. So we will download that or unzip it into that folder. At this point, we will close this window. We will go down to Documents. Uh, downloads and we should come up on there it is SDR nightly so we will click on that actually right click extract all and then it'll ask you for destination to put these extracted files to so we'll go browse and let's see if I can remember how I got there. Libraries. Documents, my documents. And obviously this is going to be different on your machine, but I will put it in here. This is the folder I already created, but it's empty. So we'll say OK and extract just takes a few seconds, boom, there's all the files you will need. And let's see. Double click this one, SDR Sharp application. And if your security won't let you do it, uh, run it anyway, which I've done with no troubles, mind you. Okay, once the screen comes up, make sure your dongle is plugged in. And then what I have to do to get mine working properly is I have to change the sample rate first. And I've chosen 16,000. And then I come down here to the output, which may work with that selection, the MME Microsoft Sound. But I use the MME speaker, Realtek high definition speakers, which that's what's installed in the laptop. And I have to change the latency down here to 23. Otherwise, I get uh, like a 100 millisecond echo. Uh, after those are chose, chosen, come up here to front end and select the RTL SDR selection. And that automatically brings you to 105 megahertz thereabouts. And we will select uh, wide FM and play. Boom, there we go. So as you can see or hear it, uh, it's actually a little echoey and a little choppy. I don't know, that may, may be my processor, maybe not. But uh, as you can see, we have many strong signals. One, two, three, four. And in order to tune, now I haven't quite figured out how to change it directly over here. It kind of leads me off in different directions. So I just bring the cursor up here click and drag and you can drag the spectrum, boy there's a big signal you can drag the spectrum back and forth and you can see 2 megahertz bandwidth now we're up, uh, let's see, 113, 113 megs let's go up to the aviation band since it's fairly close 
and you'll see the waterfall down here is, is fairly brilliant and you can use this uh, contrast drag the contrast down a little bit, it's kind of uh, just like reducing the input and we can move here, we're in wide FM now let's select AM okay, AM and now we can see some carriers, there's one boom, we will unmute the computer quite a few signals in the aviation band. But there it is, 2 megahertz wide. And you can see the signals popping on and off there. That's what all the little streaks are. And you can see the carriers on the spectrum analyzer. And that's, that's how easy it is. Uh, I was getting confused uh, in one of my posts about the, uh, the uh, exit I.O. drivers and the Zadig driver. That all has to do with the other program, HDSDR. Which I couldn't get. I wish pilots would speak up. But <laughs> anyway, I couldn't get it to work. It was a little more complicated. But uh, this is easy and it works real well. We have a 9000 uh, descending via the Gila 6 runway 2 final transition. We have Oscar. Double 2 skate runner. And we have the airport site when it helps. Okay. 4,571. You can also zoom in on this to know where it's uh, let's see, 12290. And as you can see, you can drag this back and forth. Then down to 4,000, south of 268. And a little Southwest Airlines traffic. Pretty cool. You can monitor just about anything with this device, as long as it's above 60 megahertz. And I won't try to talk over that. But uh, next step is to make an up converter. And I'd like to up convert from about 60 to 90 megahertz. That'll keep it within the pass band of the dongle. It'll keep the majority of the HF band. Uh, out of the FM broadcast band by providing uh, going from 30 to 90 megahertz so the upper end of 10 meters theoretically will be uh, the upper 2 megahertz will be in the bottom of the FM broadcast band but I'm not too concerned about that the uh, the low bands are what I'm after so uh, we'll, we'll try to get that done <laughs> we'll see what happens with that